7th chapter of St. Luke. <laughs> Beginning at the 11th verse and reading down through the 15th verse. That St. Luke chapter 7 verses 11 through 15. Now when you get there, please respond by saying, Amen. Amen. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Let the church say amen. Amen. Be seated. This afternoon, a very sad scene is set before us by Luke. He tells us about a woman who is in mourning. She's weeping. She has just experienced a crisis situation. And tears are flowing down her face. She's had a rough time. She's just experienced a very sad situation. Can't you see her? Handkerchief in her hand, wiping the tears from her eyes. You ask what, what's wrong with her? Why is she in such distress? But I want you to know first that she's not sad because of her finances. It's not her finances that's causing her such a problem. She's not distressed because of any health issues. She's not weeping because of pain in her body. But Luke tells us that the source of her distress is her child. And nothing can make a mother cry like her child. Nothing can bring out the emotional aspects of a mother like her child. Nothing can make Mama so mad that she's willing, amen, to even risk her life if somebody messes with her child. A child can be a mother's greatest joy or a child can be a mother's greatest source of sadness. 
Jesus sees her weeping and says to her, weep not. So just for a few moments, I want to speak to all the mothers, and I certainly want to speak to all children who have mothers. Stop making mama cry. That's what I'm going to talk about today. And I've come to urge, and I've come hopefully to motivate and inspire children to stop making your mother cry. My brothers and sisters, the book of Proverbs is filled with great wisdom concerning all areas of life. Even in Proverbs, there are numerous scriptures concerning parents and their children and offering words of wisdom to parents in raising their children and offering wisdom to children when it is concerning obeying their parents. Amen. And in fact, there are scriptures throughout the Bible that speaks about honoring thy father and thy mother. Amen. And that scripture comes also with a promise that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. Scriptures um, in Proverbs and throughout the Bible talks to the effect that a good child mm -hmm. is the rejoicing of their parents. Where a bad child, amen, is a parent's source of sadness. Mm -hmm. and those of us who have children, and those of us who were children at one time, <laughs> amen, knows that there were times that you made mama smile. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. But on the contrary, yes, sir. there were times when you made mama cry. Yes. Yes. Brothers and sisters, in our text today, and we'll deal with that a little bit more as we go into the story of our text. But the Bible tells us in verse 11 uh, that the day after that Jesus enters into a city called Nain. Now we got to deal with the day after. Come on, son. Uh, the day after what? Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus performed a miracle uh, the day prior mm -hmm. to the event of our text. Amen. A centurion, a Roman soldier, mm -hmm. had a servant who was sick and about to die. And the centurion sent his servants to Jesus, requesting that Jesus would heal that servant. Uh, and Jesus, on his way to the centurion's house, more servants came out and told him that the master says that he is not even worthy for you to come to the house. But just speak a word. And the servant will be healed. Yes, yes. Jesus turned the servants around and said, go back home. And when the servants got there, to their surprise, that sick servant had risen off his bed of affliction. Come on, brother. Amen. And was walking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The day after that, yeah. 
Jesus comes into a city called Nain. How many knows that wherever Jesus is, Come on here. All right. yes, sir. miracles happen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many knows that wherever Jesus is, yes. things get better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many knows that wherever Jesus is present, yes. 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 amen, that things won't remain the same? Yes. Amen. Yes, if you have a problem in your house, yes. amen. Get in touch with Jesus. How many can testify that Jesus can change the atmosphere at your house? You know what it is? You're having a problem on your job. When you jump in your car, amen, put Jesus, amen, as your passenger. And, and, and let Jesus go to your job with you. Amen. And invite him to sit at your desk. Yes. Amen. And work alongside of you. Yes, See, because even the work atmosphere yes. will get lighter yes. when Jesus yes, is there. Yes. Amen. If you want to have a good time at church, amen, invite Jesus in. Yes. The Bible witness here. Yes. If you let him come in, yes. he'll come in. And he will bless this house. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, I thank God that Jesus is going to the city of Nain. Yeah. Now, while he's going into the city, we are told by Luke that a funeral possession is leaving the city. Yeah. Now, we got to catch the vision now. Okay. Jesus, the healer. Yeah. Is going into the city. Yeah. Jesus, the miracle worker, yeah. is going into the city. Yeah. Jesus, the Messiah, yeah. and the Savior of the world, yeah. is going yeah. in the city. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, the powerful one, yeah. anointed by God, yeah. the one who can work beyond limits is going into the city and while he's going in a problem is going out oh y'all know what I'm saying while Jesus is going in the city amen a problem is coming out of the city now what I rejoice about is that at some point Yes. Amen. Yes. The problem had to meet up yes. with the problem solved. Yes. At some point, while Jesus was going in yes. and the funeral was going out, yes. they had to at least cross paths. Yes. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that they did uh, cross paths. Yes. And the Bible says that Jesus recognized that there was a woman Amen. at the funeral whose child, whose male child, had died. Amen. And she, in a funeral possession, was on her way out of the city to bury her only son. Amen. She's weeping. Yay! And march. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's crying and still moving toward the burial site yeah. for her son. Amen. Now, Luke doesn't tell us what he died from. Amen. All we know when we get to our text that her son is dead. Uh, I don't know if it was a sickness. I can't tell you if he got into a fight and got fatally injured. Uh, I can't tell you that he got whether he got ran over Amen. or was in some type of accident mm -hmm. that caused his death. Luke doesn't take time or even effort mm -hmm. to tell us the reason why this boy 
died. Mm -hmm. And the reason why he didn't take time or effort hmm. is because the important thing Come on. of the text yeah. Yeah. is not the death Come on here. of the son. Yes, sir. But the important thing concerning this story yes, sir. is the power yes. of the Savior. Yes. 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 When it comes to our problems, Amen. the important thing to remember Amen. is not how great your problem is. But the thing to remember when you're going through is how great your God is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Luke said, don't focus on the problem, yes, sir. but focus rather on the problem solved. Yes. of the situation yeah. but rejoice in the gladness yeah. that shall come out of yeah. oh, I yeah. the situation yeah. brothers and sisters you and I have to grasp that because you and I cannot stop trouble Amen. from coming into our lives yeah. problems are going to come yeah. Amen. but instead of focusing on the problem yeah. understand that we've been endured. Uh, I'm going to get a church in here in a minute. For but a night. Yes, sir. But after a while, night has to end. That's right. And then joy. That's right. I wish I had a church in here. Will come in the morning. Amen. Jesus sees that this woman is weeping because her son is dead. Yeah. Now I want to talk about real quickly about children who are alive but really dead. Oh my God. Come on here. Because it's those type of children that'll make mama cry. Amen. They're living and they have life. Amen. But really they're dead. A dead child, and we're not talking physically. Break it down. A dead child is a hard headed child. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, just in case we got some folk in here that don't know what hard headed is. Yeah. Amen. Uh, those type of children are the ones, amen, that think they know everything. Yeah. Uh, the kind of children that you can't tell them nothing. Amen. They think that they done been there. They think mama is, is old. And mama don't know. And mama behind the time. But I want to tell some children that think like that. Mama's already been where you trying to go. And wisdom will tell any hard-headed child, you better listen, amen, to your mom. Amen. Amen. Because mama got some wisdom behind her ears. Uh, mama knows a snake when she sees it. See, you think he's cute. <laughs> you think he's handsome. Amen. You think he's got it going on. But mama can look beyond all of that and see the snake that he really is. Amen. Amen. Mama also, amen, can de detect the hoochie. Preach, 
says, yeah. amen, you ought to leave them alone. Yeah. Wisdom should say, leave them alone.
Now, I'm, I'm talking about those children that are so fast <laughs> that they start having sex yes. at an unusually young age. Yes. You make mama cry. Yes. Amen. I'm talking about children who mess around and have children. Yes. My God. They ain't finished growing up themselves and now have the responsibility of trying to raise a child. Used to be, used to be, a child was a child. Can I, can I talk to you? Used to be, you can look at a child and say, that's a child. But now, some of these girls got bodies like women. Y'all don't think I, y'all didn't think I'd go there. But I'm talking in here today. Because somebody need to hear it. Amen. And, 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 and uh, can I tell you this? That a lot of what they got ain't genetic. I ain't even scared. I ain't, turn this up I ain't even scared. A lot of that ain't genetic. Some of that is because they've been doing some things. That's right, Pastor. That's right. Y'all gonna pray, y'all gonna pray with me. Yes, yes, they been doing some stuff. Yes, sir. That they have no business and they ain't really old enough. That's right. That's right, Pastor. To be doing it. That's right. Amen. That's, right. That's the one that just grow up too fast. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. And end up making mama cry. Yes. Look at her in our text. Jesus sees her and has compassion yes. on her. I feel for every mother in here today and every mother in our world today who has a living child that's acting dead. I feel for you. I feel for you. It's, it's, it's difficult. Especially when you're the only parent. That's right, Pastor. Trying to raise your children on your own. Yes. Amen. I want to just pause at the sermon today and I just want to bless every mother. Yes, yes, yes. In this building. Yes. I want to bless you today. Yes. Amen. And I want to thank God. Yes. Amen. For your work, yes. your sacrifice. Amen. And all you do is struggling trying to provide for your children. Yes. Amen. Amen. Would you just raise your hand and just bless the mothers in this place? Just give a, just give a wave blessing all across this sanctuary. God bless you. Jesus had compassion on her. And said to her, weep not. Yes. Stop weeping because the situation that you have experienced is not hopeless. Mm -hmm. The situation that you are in at this very present moment is not over. Oh. It's not hopeless. It's not over. Because Jesus, in essence, is saying, I'm here. Amen. Can I tell you, mothers, the hard-headed child is not hopeless. Amen. Amen. The hoochie. Amen. Is not hopeless. Amen. The fiery tongue one. Yeah. Is not hopeless. That's right, that's right. The one that's in and out of trouble yes. all the time is not 
hopeless. Let me tell you where their hope is. Their hope is in Jesus. Their hope is in the Lord. Amen. Introduce your children to Jesus. Amen. And Jesus can make a difference. Yes. In their life. Jesus says we not and then touches the casting where the young man lay. And I believe that when Jesus touched the beer, when Jesus touched the coffin, that power my God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. From heaven yes. came through his hand and through, amen, the beard. Yes. Those hands that touched the coffin yes. is powerful hands. Yes. Yes. Look here. Those hands My God. took two fish. <laughs> I'm ready, y'all. And five loaves oh, of bread. Yes, yes, yes. Broke it up. Yes. And fed 5,000 men. Yes. Not counting women and children. Yes. Jesus has some powerful hands. Yes. Those hands, yes. amen, reached down on the ground. Amen. Where he had spat Come on here. and mixed dirt with his spittle. Come yeah. on here. And took the mud and put it on the eyes yes. of a blind man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And told him to go wash. Oh, wow. oh I feel it now, y'all. Yeah. In the pool of Salon. Yeah. And the Bible says that the blind man went and washed yeah. and received. His sight. Yeah. How many knows that Jesus has some powerful yeah. hands? Yeah. Yeah. Now I can give my testimony. Come on. Yeah. Because one day he touched me. Oh, yeah. 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 I have one witness here. Yeah. And ever since he touched me, uh -huh. amen. My life yeah. has no longer been the same. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Songwriter said he touched me. Yes. Oh, he touched me. Yes, yes. And all the joy. Yes, sir. Oh, I wish I had somebody in here that floods my soul. Yes. Something, something happened. Yes. And now I know yes. he touched me. Yes. And made me. Oh. He made me whole. Yes. My brothers and sisters, Jesus, Jesus. he'll touch you. Yes. yes. And he'll change your life. Yeah. Just one touch from the master. Yeah. Amen. And it'll change the way you walk. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm leaving now. I said one touch from the master. Yeah. And it'll change the way you talk. Yeah. Yes, one touch yes, sir. up from Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It'll change the way you think. Yeah. I said one touch. Yeah. From the Savior. Yeah. Yes, one touch. Yeah. Will make you love your enemies. Yeah. Just like you love your friends. Yeah. One touch. One touch. Uh, yes, from Jesus. Yeah. Will give you joy. Joy. In sorrow. Yeah. And give you a hope for tomorrow. Yeah. I said one touch. Yeah. Just one touch. Yeah. From Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Woo. It'll change from the inside. Yeah. And make it show up yeah. on the outside. Yeah. Anybody here at Bethsaida? Yeah. Jesus has touched. Yeah. Why don't you shake somebody's hand and say he touched me. And now
your life. If you have not been saved, we open the doors for you to come. Now, if you've already been saved, that's a good thing. We praise God for your salvation. And you need a church home. Maybe you've been searching, you've been looking, praying for a church home. And the Lord has spoken to you about this church. Yeah, it's not a mega church, you know, but it's a good church. And if that's what you're looking for, just a good church, then you found it. Step out and come. Join a good church. God bless you. Oh, my God.